So this is the back deal. This will be a back deal. So I will come by here sometime in the moonshine. Bats, also known as rat bats in Jamaica, are among the mammals which have the greatest ecological and economic value to humans where farming and food production is concerned. However, when many Jamaicans hear about bats, oftentimes what comes to mind is much of what is seen in Hollywood movies, vampires, furry, rat-like, demonic, winged creatures and the blood suckers. However, to the contrary, bats are not dangerous. In fact, they are important for things such as pollination, scarification, and insect pest management. In reality, bats, which are the world's only flying mammal, are very important not only to the environment, but to humans and the many products that we use. But fear and misconceptions about rat bats have, over the years, led people to deliberately destroy their roosts, forcing them to seek accommodation in man-made structures such as homes and other buildings, which puts them at even greater risk. In addition, their habitats are being negatively affected by housing and other developments. Commonly referred to as rat bats in Jamaica, these mammals are actually more closely related to primates than rodents and are the only mammals which are capable of true flight. Fairy tales, horror movies and rumors have given these amazing mammals an undeserving bad reputation.
mi la hechura. Oh. Of the more than 1200 species of bats which are found worldwide, Jamaica is home to 21 species. Of this number, five species are endemic. The diet of bats is varied and those found in Jamaica feed on insects, nectar, fruits and fish. Locally, only one species is known to feed on fish. Bats are threatened by loss of habitat, which can happen due to deliberate habitat destruction, deforestation to make space for development, excessive roost disturbance due to tourism and harvesting of guano, loss of foraging area, and climate change. Bats can be found in all parishes in Jamaica. There are 149 known cave roosts island-wide, but limited information on non-cave roosts, according to the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA. These vines are like fig roots. Oh, yeah. fig roots. Yeah. And fig tree. So we can climb on it? Yeah, and it's strong ones, then we can go down. So you ever do ever climb up? No, my friends do it. They climb from bottom to top yeah, and from um, up and down. Mm -hmm. Okay, cars and business. Boys and take pictures. In your cool and nice. Mm -hmm. Like dark room around the sun where we have light. Mm -hmm. Go around the narrow too. Yeah. See yeah. narrow oh, a narrow spot this. And you know, I'm dropping under the hole. Back so back. How deep are it that way? You know too deep. Oh. All of this is full to it happen. Manure. Then dig out, dig out. Oh, this is where people came and dug the manure. Yeah. So all of this was man was right back manure. Mm -hmm. Like, like all all of this, of this up? Thing, yes, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once you back them, I enjoy themselves. Nice. And they have everything for eat down here. <laughs> they eat holy for um, almond. Through various studies, bat species have been shown to have both ecological and economic value. Bats play an important role in the revegetation of cleared areas and regulating nocturnal insect populations by consuming a significant number during the summer. Bats are also important transporters of nutrients across distances due to the volume of insects consumed, which can be up to 100% of their body weight per night, and the long distances they travel, which is several kilometers per night. The insect species consumed by bats include those which have an economic impact on agriculture crops such as the cucumber beetles, june bugs, horn borer, and Jerusalem crickets, which are pests of crops such as corn and potatoes. Bats are principal pollinators. Pollination is the process of moving pollen grains from the male part of the flower to the female part. Bats love to drink the sweet nectar inside flowers. As they drink and move from flower to flower, they pick up a dusting of pollen and distribute it to other flowers. Bats are very important animals in ecosystems all over the world. Tropical bats, in particular, are essential to the rainforest where they pollinate flowers and disperse seeds for countless trees and shrubs. Jamaican agricultural plants such as bananas, mangoes, cashews, and avocados rely on bats for pollination. Bats also help to distribute the seeds of these important plants so they can reproduce and create more fruit for us humans to eat and enjoy. Because they are nocturnal animals, bats provide their essential services on the night shift, 
while the birds do similar duties on the day shift. Without pollinating and seed dispersing bats, many ecosystems in Jamaica would gradually die. Bats are important to organic farming. Because they eat many insects, they lessen the need for use of chemical pesticides in agriculture. In addition, because bats eat large amounts of mosquitoes, they help to control viruses which are spread by the insects. Insectivorous bats consume enormous quantities of nocturnal insects, including many that are harmful to crops and are pests to humans, with some bats capable of consuming more than 1,000 insects per night, including mosquitoes. In some countries, people build the bat boxes and post them on their houses or sheds. If bats occupy the boxes, then insects avoid these areas. Many insects can hear bats up to 100 feet away and will avoid those areas occupied by bats. Despite their wrongful reputation as creatures of terror and architects of nightmares across the world, bats actually contribute to the economic welfare of human beings, especially in the areas of agriculture and the environment. Jamaican fruit-eating bats, such as those in Little Bay, are the most important seed-dispersing mammals in Jamaica. As they defecate in flight, Seeds are dispersed away from the mother tree, thus increasing a seedling's chance of survival. Brightly colored, fragrant fruits like figs make up the majority of the Jamaican fruit-eating bat's diet. They also eat leaves, flowers, pollen, and nectar. When Jamaican fruit-eating bats pick a piece of fruit, they fly back to a feeding roost with it rather than consuming it right away. The juices are eaten, but the rest of the fruit and the seeds are discarded at this new location, making the bats good seed dispersers. Most of Jamaica's bats are big eaters, with scientists pointing out that after feeding for half an hour, a bat's stomach may contain food weighing up to a quarter of its total weight. Do bats have fangs? The term fang typically refers to what are called canine teeth. All bat species have canines and they also have incisors, premolars and molars in both their upper and lower jaw. In many cases, these teeth are very sharp. That is convenient to the bats as they need to cut and chew their food before digesting it. The bat's fangs serve two purposes. They act like blades to break open hard fruit shells and husks, and they give the bats a wider grip. This wide grip is very important to the bats, who often harvest and fly away with pieces of fruit larger than their heads. So bats do indeed have fangs, however, they may not be as pronounced as many Hollywood movies portray them to be. More often than not, a bat's canine teeth are not visible unless the bat's mouth is open. Many people are afraid of bats, but those fears come as a result of myths. Regrettably, these fears still drive people to hurt and destroy bats unnecessarily. One of the most important things that we can do to help bats, and in turn help our farmers, is to change our attitudes towards these creatures. <laughs>